Thank you, Mayor, for taking the time to talk to me. Well, you need to make it quick. The police chief and I need to talk about new police cars and a list of new equipment for the police department. The police department needs a lot of equipment, and I must find a way to get equipment for them. Perhaps it would be better if I came back another time. No, I will probably be busy then as well. I have a lot of work trying to find ways to get money for police cars and police equipment. I don't see what the fire department has to talk about that would take more than a minute or two. I am a very busy man running the city. So can you just get on with it? Well, we have found a way to purchase a new service truck. That would cost the city very little money. It would not increase our budget. This truck will also take the place of the 30-year-old brush truck and reduce repair cost. I don't think you understand. You do not have a budget. We just make a budget so it looks good when the newspaper reports it. But then, all of that goes out the window. I will tell you how you can spend my money. That is why the people elected me. That is why the people put me in this position. Because I am smart. Is that the way the city council sees it? The city council sees it the way I tell them to see it. They do what I tell them to do. Because I am smart. The people elected me because I am smart. I give them specific instructions not to fall for any of your tricks. Because the fire department is volunteers. And they are stupid. I am smart. I am not doing any tricks. I am just trying to state that our 40-year-old service truck needs to be replaced. Do you think we are stupid for that? We have far more important things to spend money on than fire equipment. Just the other day, a juvenile thug attacked police officers in our city. The police chief says that we must take drastic measures to stop this kind of outrage. If we don't buy more police cars, more tasers, new service pistols, and new maze, that our city will be overrun by these juvenile thugs. Our city will go to ruin. The juveniles would take over. I know this because the police chief told me it would happen. And you believe this crap? It is not crap. I went to the police chief's house and we walked cops on TV. He showed me how other cities did not take action and now they are paying the price. He is very smart because he says he watches this all the time. He also says that the fire department is just a hole to throw money in. He is almost as smart as I am. And I am smart. So how is it that the police chief knows so much about the fire department? Because he was a firefighter a long time ago before he got smart. He said that he knows everything about firefighting. He is nearly as smart as I am. He was able to point out some ways to save money. For instance, instead of alerting the fire department, they should send the police first because they are smarter than firefighters. The police could determine if the fire department was needed and tell them how many firefighters to send. That way we would not be paying a bunch of firefighters to put out a small grass fire or a trash can that one firefighter could put out. That would save the city money for police cars and equipment. He also said that we could cut the training down to one or two times a year. That would save money that we could use that money from new tasers to fend off the juvenile thugs. When he was a firefighter they only had training once a year. And he knows everything about firefighting. This would also save money on gas and diesel. This could be used to buy more police cars and equipment for the police department. If firefighters were smart they would have already thought of these things. And we could have had more police officers to fight off this juvenile thug. But firefighters are stupid. That is why the police chief and I must come up with ways to cut money from other places to buy police equipment. Well I can see that this is going nowhere. I thank you and the council. And your police chief can cram it. I will take that as a verbal assault. If you do that again I will call the police chief. And then he will tase you. That is how we control people in this city.